Welcome back to Chukitipu Media. The Federal High Court Abuja has ordered the freezing of approximately 1.1 billion Naira held in Fidelity Bank, GT Bank, Access Bank and Wema Bank due to funds allegedly linked to the former boss of Globus Bank employee who hacked into customers' transactions and stole 3.5 billion Naira. The court order was issued against accounts belonging to Harrell Global Solution Limited, Abdullahi Abubakar Sadiq, Honobun Oluwa Olumidi, and Oluwa Shewun Adini Afolabi at the request of the EFCC. The EFCC Council, Olan Rewaju Adeola, requested the freeze to prevent any further transaction in the suit's number FH. C slash CS slash 32 slash 2024. Before the EFCC intervention, Globus Bank had reported the hacking incident in 2023 and obtained freezing order against the account linked to the suspects. The EFCC investigation revealed that the ex staff of Globus Bank were involved in hacking the bank's system and stealing customers' phones. Ology they emphasized that Babatude Idris Olaiwola, Chinedu Ihuma, and Igwe George, Benedict Obina, the alleged perpetrator of the crime, were well versed in working of the Globus Bank ICT software platform as they were the pioneers and architects of the system, giving, giving them the access to all the accounts. Following the investigation, all banks' accounts linked to the fraudulent activities were requested through investigation activities later to send to the relevant bank providing evidence of funds received. The EFCC staff also disclosed to the court that Globus Bank Management had previously sought a post-no-debit PND order from the Federal High Court, Lagos, to prevent the depletion of funds in the diverted account. Moreover, it was requested that Igwe George, Bennett Kubina's computers and telephones devices were undergoing forensic analysis to determine the extent of the involvement of Babatunde Idris, Olaiwala, Chinedu, Ihuma, and Igwe George Benedict Obina in the illicit activities. The EFCC urged the court to approve its request, emphasizing that not doing so would jeopardize the ongoing investigation based on the intelligence reports received by the commission. Justice Inyang Ekwo, on January 23rd, 2024, froze the disputed accounts and adjourned for the EFCC to provide updates on the investigation final outcome. Thank you for listening. This is Chucky Table Media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share the broadcast. Like it and love it. God bless you as you do.